Nesnekom olarak Eurolik resmi sponsorluğumuzun 9. yılında Anadolu Efes Medya günündeyiz. Sevgili Nesne TV izleyenleri Euroleague Media Day'de Anadolu Efes oyuncularıyla bugün çok özel röportajlar gerçekleştireceğiz. Yanımızda herkesin çok yakından tanıdığı Tibor Plyce var. Tibor, Volk... Yes. <gülüyor> <gülüyor> you are so funny. Always, right, always. right before the interview you always make jokes. But I said congratulations on the World Championship for your country and of your country. How World do you feel about it? Great. I was really happy to see my or my country winning the World Cup. It is something like really big for our country. It's the first time in history. So mm -hmm. we're really happy about it. And I hope it's giving our country like a little push, you know, with basketball. I mean, of course, like, there is like another sport. It's number one in Germany. It's kind of like number one in Turkey as well. Yeah. So I hope it gives basketball a little push. No, I think it will be. And you know, inshallah. you're here in, inshallah, you're here in Anadolu Efes and we have one of the biggest German player right here who is having the sixth season with Anadolu Efes. Nope, with right. the Inter... Yes. Huh? Am yes. I right? Yeah, yeah, okay, right. so right now, like, you witness so many championships mm -hmm. here, uh, so many winnings and uh, so many great stuff, successes here. But this year, how do you feel about it? Like, do you think that you're going to lead it to another level? with Anadolu Efes, with this new group of players um, and It's coach. always tough to say this already in preseason because we are still on the way to, to improve, to find progress. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have a lot of new teammates. Uh, we have a new coach, new systems, new defense rules. Like everything is kind of like new. So I would say it's kind of like early to talk about it. But of course, like the goal is like always the same. You want right. to be successful. We want to win something. I mean, we're working hard every day to kind of like going out of the season with a lot of titles. It was always a goal and it's a goal again. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll, see. we'll see you think. I think it will be different because my second question is about that. You worked with Ergin Ataman under his coaching Seven management. Years. Seven years. <laughs> So you like first for many years you worked with him, but now there's a new coach with the new system. So how do you feel about it, and how do you comment about it? I know it's early to think, but what will be the main difference? Main difference? Uh, I mean, it's a totally different dis different system. Like, right. um, I would say like Ergin, for example, he gave us like a lot of times like the freedom to do whatever we want. Like he just let us play. Now it's like more structured, like the, the coach has his philosophy mm -hmm. and he's kind of like bring this philosophy into the team. So it's what I say, like it's a process, like we always have to get used to it. For me, here being here in, in Ephesus five years is for me kind of like I have a thing I'm playing for a new team because right. everything changed for me. I mean, not the surrounding. Even like, the chemistry? No, chemistry was always, always on point. I mean, we have great guys and all the new teammates who came into the team, they're amazing, really. I feel they're part or, or already a part of the family uh, and this after like just a couple of weeks being together. So the, the, the team chemistry didn't change at all. Okay, so my, I mean, we're going to talk about it during the season because it's early to talk about it. But I want to talk about your summer. So you're very adventurous. You're not a classic summer person. You want to explore the different spots. How, tell me about it. How is it? How, um, and then you actually also please talk about Istanbul. You've been living here in this city. How yeah. do you see it? But first summer. First summer. Um, I have to say, like my first trip was, was with my parents to Africa. Um, yeah, since since. I don't want to talk about this, but like COVID hit us, you know, like right. it showed me that uh, times can change so quickly and my parents are getting older. So for me, it's like I want to make like a little trip with my parents every year just to show them. Uh, yeah, this is I amazing. mean, I want, to, I want to spend time with them, especially since I'm playing professional since so many years I played. It's now my 18th season coming up and uh, I don't see them so much during the year. So I, I started last year, last year I went with them to Egypt. This year I went with them to Africa, Kenya and Tanzania. An amazing um, experience. Really? It was wonderful, really wonderful. Wonderful country, mm -hmm. wonderful uh, cities. People, wonderful, food. Yeah. And the animals, of course, the environment. And, uh, I love them. I love but what's your favorite place that you visited? This summer? Yeah. I mean, I have to say that 
after I came back from Africa, I was in Cologne for two weeks. I would like to say like, ah, that's my favorite place because it's home. <laughs> but uh, two weeks later, I found out for myself like Africa was wonderful. You know, it's like a lot of impressions, a lot of information, but it was not really like kind of like rest for me. I was like still restless, like so many informations I had to, in my mind, I had, I had so much thinking. So I, I found out for myself, I need something more. So two weeks later, uh, I went to my parents and I said like, hey guys, I have to leave. I have to do something for myself. So from one day to the other, really like I booked my flight and on the next day was my flight to Bali. Bali? Bali. You went to Bali? Too? I went okay, to well, Bali okay. for two weeks. Uh, I mean, I have a friend living there. He's a condition coach. So I knew already like, hey, I can do my pre I mean, I'm an athlete. I can work out everywhere. So he had like a gym. I could work out there. So I just decided going there mm -hmm. and it was maybe like best time of the last couple of years because wow. I just did something for myself. I didn't plan the day at all. I came positive and I'm still, I hope people are still feeling it. I'm we so feel it. I mean, Nestina TV happy, feels it. <laughs> positivity, like this place, be just because I didn't plan anything. I just went mm -hmm. there. It was mm -hmm. nice weather. I, I just decided like kind of like spontaneous what I, I, I was doing, like during the day or the next day. Mm -hmm. Amazing. That's what yeah. I mean. I can see and I can feel from your energy, and and I'm so happy as a basketball fan and as a media person. Yeah. I cannot wait to see you on the court this season with this energy. Cool. <laughs> Is it a lot of pressure? No, it's not. Okay, great. I mean, okay, yeah. but for the next season, would you give us an interview right before where you go, so some people can follow you, some basketball yeah, fans? Yeah, of course. Okay. I mean, I have already some plans, but I mean. Japan. No. <laughs> I mean, it's again like we are talking again about like this planning with my family together, you know, yeah. like last, last we went to Africa because of my mom, because it was, was always like one of her life dreams. Okay. She went from Africa. My dad is fine with German Schwarzwald. That's kind of like a forest for him. He doesn't have to okay. fly or travel so far. But uh, yeah, we decided okay. to go to Africa. Greetings to, to, the, to the family, by the way, to Tibor Place family. Place family. I love you. Thank you so much, yeah. Tibor, and hope to see you soon with Nessine and talking about travel plans. <laughs> I love traveling. I love Thank traveling. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sevgili Nesne TV izleyenleri, bugünlük Tibor Plyce'la yaptığımız gerçekleştirdiğimiz röportajın sonuna geldik. Bir başka röportajda görüşmek dileğiyle. Hoşçakalın. Sevgili Nesne TV izleyenleri, yeni sezonda Euroleague Anadolu Efes Media Day'den herkese merhabalar. Yanımızda Anadolu Efes'in yeni transferi Darius Thompson var. I'm so happy and glad to meet you throughout these three questions. <laughs> How are you, Darius? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How do you like Istanbul? How is the uh, it's environment? A, it's a big adjustment, just being in one of the biggest cities in the world, but it's good, it's good. I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. I mean, you're familiar with the Mediterranean culture, so for you being in Turkey, it's, it's great. Um, so you've been under the spotlights during this whole summertime about the transfer talks. Every team in your league were like, okay, we, we're about to sign him, we're about to sign him. But you chose to be in Anadolu Efes. How come? Uh, I just think it was a good situation for me. Um, knowing how the, the, the style of play is here in Ephesus, how they give an opportunity. And a lot of the guys came from Basconia, so Definitely. seeing the adjustment from players who come from Basconia to make the move, you have to follow different routines and different patterns that other guys in the EuroLeague have had. So like seeing these guys come from Basconia and do well, win EuroLeague, I mean, I think it was an easy adjustment going from Basconia to Ephesus. I agree with you, and you know, it's a, I think it's a smart and a wise, wise choice to come <laughs> To, to be with a Turkish team. It could have been the same with Fenerbahce, but don't get me wrong. And obviously there are so many talks about after, right after Mistich left, because it was like Larkin Mistich, what a duo. And you came here and then now everybody talks about Thompson and Larkin. It's gonna be a great duo. Like Mistich and Larkin won two championships together. Respecting also the whole team, obviously, but how do you feel about that? Well, how do you see the chemistry about these two duos? Uh, for me, it, I just take it one step at a time. I don't want to look into uh, being a duo or anything, but I think we have a really talented team um, from top to bottom. So I don't think you can just look at two players or three players and say, this is F is no, we're a good team from top to bottom, and you have to respect everybody because everybody comes in and gives 110% every day in practice. So 
it's more of a team thing. I don't really look at too many individualistic things for me. It's all about the team for me. Yeah, but there there will be so many talks about that. So yeah, just, just, let, just get ready with the I'll, let, I'll let people talk on the side. They can do that on their own. That's great. It's just like an NBA mentality. But um, so you played your first year league season last year with Basconia. You were the assist leader. We were watching you like, okay. And obviously the second of the steal leader in your league and then second all team. So you did so many things, you know, achievements. And then this year, I just want to ask you specifically, it's going to be the same with the assist? I hope so. I mean, that's, that's my biggest thing is, is finding my teammates. And I think we have a lot of talent. So maybe uh, baskets will be a little bit easier here. So who knows? Uh, I'm always going to find an open teammate. <clears throat> Try to find an open teammate and, and make it easier for my team. I'm seeing you very happy um, right now in this EuroLeague Media Day and good luck with, the, with my colleagues' questions. <laughs> You're just starting now thank and you, keep you. that energy and good luck for this new thank season. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Değerli Nese TV izleyenleri, Darius Thompson'a röportajımızın sonuna geldik. Herkese iyi seyirler.